this is Beth from Wonder Bing Travel, also known as Bing. All my friends call me Bing, so you're welcome to call me Bing as well. Today, I'd like to challenge you to think about how a solo road trip might change the course of your life. It definitely worked for me, and I want to share a little bit about how that can happen for you. Let's set the stage a little bit, because for many of us, I think we dream a little bit sometimes, maybe a whole lot about trying something new, about stepping out, about adventure, um, just some place that maybe you could find peace and freedom. And let's face it, at this time in our lives, for many of us, we've undergone massive changes. There's so many different reasons for that. And we'll, we will all go through something. It may be that we've lost a loved one. It may be that we have just recently retired or moved to a new place where we don't know anyone. It could be that we're suddenly living alone for the first time for one reason or another. Maybe our kids are grown and gone and our purpose in life just feels a little empty. We knew what life looked like these last 20 plus years, maybe 30 years. We knew what we were supposed to be doing as adults. And now we wake up in the morning and it's just sort of an unrecognizable landscape. It can make you feel stuck. You're not really sure what to do next. Well, I think I can help you. Whether you've considered it or not, I'm willing to bet that taking a road trip, even a little one, by yourself could clear your heart and your head and help you move from that stuck place to the unstuck place. It can take you literally and figuratively from A to B. It worked for me, and I can promise you that I can help you with all of the equipping, encouragement, practical step-by-step -step advice, inspiration, hand-holding if you need it. And I know, yeah, you're probably a little bit scared to even think about this. I can help with that too. So I've been right where you are and I've woken up in a world that I no longer recognize, um, lacking purpose, lacking a plan. It's scary, but for me, my faith helped me keep my feet planted firmly on the ground, even though I didn't know what the next day would bring. And over time, I found healing and inspiration in the form of a solo road trip. I don't know why I did it. I'll probably never really know why, but I just gave it some thought, did a little navigating in the beginning, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, got a little consumed by some maps, figured it out, packed the car, got in my SUV and headed out. I had no idea what I was doing, but I can tell you that I just felt this pull to do it that I could not ignore. And that decision has changed the trajectory of my life. So I'm not saying that you need to become a perpetual 360 day a year road tripper. That's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying change your life to become a road tripper. I am saying that using time by yourself, exploring on your own, is an opportunity to pause and think and reset and figure out what it is that you might want to do in the next phase of your life. Since I started this adventure on my own, I have covered 46 states, tens of thousands of road tripping miles and learned so much about myself as well as the world around me. Because you see, we're looking out at the world. A road trip is about exploring and about seeing the wonder of God's creation, at least in my world, that's how I view it. In your world, if that doesn't resonate with you, it may just be about seeking beauty. But whatever it is, it takes a focus off of ourselves, which seems a little counterintuitive to maybe the whole purpose of getting unstuck. But I find that taking the focus off of myself and looking out instead of in is what really opens my eyes and my ears and my heart and my mind and has given me the opportunity to now move forward into something new. So now my heart has been healed and I feel as though my purpose is being fulfilled as I help others find their way to freedom and wonder as they travel. And I realize for a lot of women that takes a big leap of faith. So I ended up writing a book, which I have been writing on this topic for years, but I put a book together called There's Wonder Around the Bend. It's an inspiring guide for solo female road trippers. It's full of inspiration. It's got practical encouragement to equip you to step out in faith on your own, to adventure on your own. 
um, whether you need a day away or a week or a month, whatever you can put together, it will be worth it. And I can help you with every little bit of it. So don't get stuck right away thinking that you feel overwhelmed and that it has to be this big thing. It doesn't. It might just be an afternoon away somewhere. You may just go to the next town over and do some exploring and stop in that cute little coffee shop you've been thinking about and just wander around town or someplace where you don't know anybody. It doesn't have to be a grand thing. It doesn't have to be an overwhelming thing, but it can be, it can be huge. So you just have to figure out what fits for you. So sometimes you'll find me sharing from home, which is where I am today in my office. Um, other times you'll find me on the road because I do spend a lot of time traveling. So I was so excited about spending um, time being able to share with you locations and wonderful places and things that I found that are inspiring to me and the way that I find wonder when I travel. So if any of this resonates with you, then I think Wonder Bing Travel and Bing may have something to help. Um, the book will be available soon, but in the meantime, I've pulled a chapter out called Going Solo and made that available for readers who are interested. So if you go to wonderbeingtravel.com slash sneak peek, and you'll find the link here below, go ahead and click on that, subscribe, and you will get not only that Going Solo chapter for inspiration and practical equipping, but also some other goodies that I have set up for you. My passion is to help women get out of that stuck place, help them to go and do something, yes, for themselves, so that they can take that step into the next phase of their life. Sometimes we just need to clear our heads, and that's a good enough reason to go too. But I have found that the, um, the getting from the heart of like, I really want to go to the car pulling out and feeling confident and comfortable with where you're going and what you're going to do. Even though a lot of it may be unplanned, you can still have a level of comfort and confidence in what you're doing. And, and that is the part where I feel like women get stuck in the process. So that is where I can help so much, whether it's navigating, budgeting, figuring out great places to stay, figuring out um, great places to eat, uh, how long you want to go, all of those things. I can help with all of that. I've done it all over and over and over again. But the most important part of all of this is really about discovering what it looks like to seek wonder and to find it and to find joy in each day of your journey, to embrace feelings of gratitude and hope for your future, to open your eyes and your mind and to see clearly, maybe for the first time in a long time. Honestly, there's nothing like a trip on your own to clear out the crud and open up your mind. You'll find yourself focused on looking out instead of in, and those changes end up coming within. It's really a transformative experience. I hope that you'll let Wonder Being Travels play a role in being your guide as you seek freedom and wonder. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. You can also follow me on socials, Wonder Being Travel on Instagram and on Facebook. I so look forward to having community with you and learning more about what it is that makes you excited about this or feel trepidation about this. So please feel free to leave a comment below, a question below. I will answer everything. I'm so excited to embark on this journey with you. Uh, I hope that you'll let me help you turn your wandering into wonder as you seek joy in your journey.